Hey, it's Central Valley Business. I'm your host, Steve Walling. My guest for this segment, Richard Gonzalez. We're with the Green Party, man. Welcome <laughs> to the show. All right, it's Richard Gomez. Or Gomez, I am That's okay. sorry. I understand that. You know? Hey, at least you've got the right ethnicity. There you so, go. Yeah, you're in the ballpark, so. At least I didn't say one of the other parties. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Richard, you're here about the Green Party, so I want, I'm going to play totally blank slate and tell me first off about the slate of the Green Party your candidate Jill mm -hmm. what's going on with Jill and what you got going on Monday here in Fresno alrighty here we go well of course folks who should know Jill Stein is our presidential candidate and our vice presidential candidate as the Jammu Baraka um, the thing about Jill is she's a wonderful person she's a doctor uh, in fact she's practicing what she calls political medicine <laughs> I mean, yeah, because the, what we have is horrible awful you might say mm -hmm. well anybody will say it because the truth is so many people don't like the major candidacies and Jill like I said she doesn't take money from corporations she doesn't take them from unions or super PACs this is just us people who give her money people who help her out people who support her Richard? and this is how we're going we want to win Go Not ahead. taking money from these various things mm -hmm. is a very powerful statement. Absolutely. And it's also very freeing for the candidate. True. Um, so how, how is she supporting her campaign? Is it all small donations? Pretty much. People yeah. out there who are helping out, giving money, whatever they can. Okay. And that's how she's doing it. Well, I'm going to stop you right there. Okay. People out there giving money, where do they give money to? I mean, it, I got you on the air. Let's mm, let's right. get right down to the bottom line. Well, where do they? Where can they give money to support Jill? You can give money to her uh, by going to her website at Jill, excuse me, Jill2016.com. Okay. Yeah, I'm getting it all, they were uh, thing over here, you know. Uh oh, there you that's go. That's okay. Well, that's all right. So, uh, she, all okay. right. So, Jill, she's how how's her campaign working right now? I mean, how's she's it? She's doing pretty well, actually. You, you told me she's on forty six. 45 state 45 ballots, ballots automatically, three other states where she's a write-in candidate, and there's three other states where the judges threw her out because even though she had already has uh, received the required signatures Sessions? and more so. I mean, this what, is the what problem. Was the, what was the purpose for throwing her out? Well, this is the problem with third party. We have a difficult time getting on ballots. Uh, they, they, they expect us to... Um, get more signatures than the other party and of course some of them are strange because like in Texas you have to be registered and not have voted in the primary or something like that. Each, now each state has their own individual stuff. Right? Every state sometimes even counties and that's, have their own craziness. Yeah that's gonna make it tough for a third party where you don't mm -hmm. have that where you don't have that established entrenched establishment <laughs> been there for 50 million years mm -hmm. everybody's paying everybody patting everybody's back and stuff mm -hmm. so you got someone that comes in from the outside and they don't make it easy for you do they not at all now what why is that well because they're pretty much set in with the two major parties that's it and they want to keep their uh, they keep their comfort level which makes them happy and so they want to keep out any problems the media is also horrible they have um they were talking about how that she needed uh, 15 percent in polling, and the truth yeah, is, we in order to get on the to debates. get into the presidential debate. Yes, yeah. thanks for reminding me. We've seen polls where she has 22, 33 percent, especially high. She rates with uh, the young, younger kids. Yeah, you know, a little bit younger than us, you might yeah. say. Well, not 18, too much. Yeah. <laughs> no, not too much. You know, 18 yeah. to 28. Uh, she's getting a lot of support, but the media is not showing that. And, and if you listen to some of the media, they're totally ignoring her. Well, well, yeah, they're, they're not. She's not important. Gary's not important. It's just mm -hmm. you know the only thing that's important is you know the the dish of today's um, menu, which is either this or that. And mm -hmm. and so, but you guys got an event going, right? Absolutely. Well, because the debate's happening uh, this Monday uh, afternoon, mm -hmm. from five thirty to about six thirty or seven. Um, we're going to have a, a gathering uh, on the corners of Gateway and McKinley Avenue, right in front of Channel 24. Okay. Be because they're an NBC, NBC affiliate as well as um, M MSNBC. Right. They're all part of the same continuum or whatever. You looking to have a good crew out there? Nice I'm hoping the best. The more people out there, the better. 
and have signs and everything supporting Jill, demanding that they allow Jill in to the, to the debates. Because everybody has a right to know who's running, especially those who are capable of winning. And she is. Richard, mm -hmm. Jill's platform. Yes. What's what? Is, give me the the top three or four uh, okay. issues on her platform. Okay. Uh, first off, it's the Green New Deal. This is like remember the New Deal from right. uh, Roosevelt. Right. Because we are in an economic problem. We are economic crisis. So what she's going to do is cut the military budget in half, and then she's going to use that money to get people to work, specifically jobs that are going to clean up our our state, our mm -hmm. home, our country. Right. Because. We have a catastrophe awaiting us with uh, climate change. I've, got I've, to... I've heard rumblings in the background. Mm -hmm. Well, in the North and that's East. not just the thunder in the sky either. <laughs> well, yeah. that's, this is Fresno. They yeah. don't have thunder in the sky oh. unless you're shooting off guns at night. If there you go. <laughs> like in the Northeast, we're having trouble with water Yeah. Uh, up there in Flint. And the other places where the water quality has simply gone bad and the cities and the states are not Listen, doing anything. We're having right water quality issues right here in the Central Valley. We are number one. We are like ground zero for water, air, yeah. and and the soil. So yeah, okay. So we we got that. What's give me your next uh, issue? Um, the uh, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, the next issue. I had it in my head a minute ago. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's okay. Uh, I know. Um, okay. Okay. Well, okay. Like I said, she's going to the Green New Deal. We're going to. Uh, Oh boy. Okay, so all right. Well, and then, I know and I got it. Well, you're head. thinking about that. Uh huh. We're looking at cutting the military budget, bringing the new jobs back, cleaning up the environment. Mm -hmm. Those are all very powerful things. It's Green New Deal. Um, what else is she is she uh, targeted oh. like health care or? Yes, I'm. I'm glad you reminded me. I'm. I, like I said, I have one of those senior moments. You mm -hmm. might say. Uh, we want to have a single payer. I mean, okay. if we're having trouble with this uh, Obama Romney Care, whatever mm -hmm. you want to call it. Uh, a sing single payer, what it does, it kicks out the insurance companies. That's billions of dollars more to take care of, to help everybody with their health cares. I mean, everybody gets sick, whether you like it or not. Right. And so, by having people being, having the opportunity to get the health care you need when you need it, and not at the last minute, mm -hmm. you can not only help yourself and be more productive citizens, but you're also saving costs because a lot of people wait till the very last minute. Right. Now, Richard, as you talked about younger people, mm -hmm. as, a, as, a, as a millennial, younger generation, mm -hmm. uh, what is it that, that Jill is representing that really, do you think, really speaks mm -hmm. to the younger people? Well, we also want to cancel the student debt. Mm -hmm. uh, thousands of dollars to go to school. But let's face it, once you graduate, you got to deal with that debt, and it's too it's too costly for too many people. They they say it's one, it's like one of the major expenses in some in people's lives nowadays, it and is. they and, and they they don't pay it off. You know, when I went to college, we paid off our stuff in in you know three, four, five years or whatever. Now mm -hmm. it's it's not in three or four or five years; it's in decades, three, four, five decades, and it's there. Are people who won't be able to pay off their their yeah. student debts, and the most important thing is. Because a lot of people think, well, that's free education. Not really, because whatever gets paid, you know, what it's getting paid off, but whatever you do with your life, that education that you get is going to help it. You're going to have a better life. At least we're going to assume that you want a better life, but you're going to need that education. Right. And this is what the, uh, the payoff is. You're going to have a better life. You'll be able to live that life that you want to and we need. We need doctors. Well, maybe People not so many lawyers. <laughs> we need engineers. <laughs> yeah. yeah we're, we're taking care of student debt except for attorneys. And they no, got to no, pay no. their own. No, I'm joking. No, no, no. That's true. Everybody, yeah. it goes for everybody their student yeah. debt, you know. And like I said, the idea is that they get the opportunity to do the thing that they want to do with their life. And generally, people want to have a good and happy and healthy life. And I agree with that. Mm -hmm. Okay, Richard, once again, how do we, Jill, what's her, what's her webpage? Uh, it's uh, jill2016.com. Okay. And locally, you can get a hold of me. I have an email, Richard Gomez, 136 at yahoo.com. That's Richard Gomez. With a Z. With a Z. Yes. Okay. Also, you can call me at area code 559 408 
to zero. And Monday we got an event again at Gateway and McKinley, McKinley. Mm -hmm. at what time? Five o'clock. Five thirty. But five thirty. Five o'clock. All right. Bring your own signs. Make That's your own it. signs if you need. You have a voice. Make it heard. Absolutely. Thank you for being on the show. Don't forget Richard. to vote, folks. Yeah. Take care it. of yourself. Thank you. Take care. Thank you much. All right. We'll see you when we come back.